so I can record the Discord chat. But... That means no <laughs> profanity? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll have my voice. On it. Maybe I'll cut that out. But... <laughs> <laughs> whenever, uh, whenever Howie records the uh, time trials, the first thing he tells me is, Jim, I'm going live now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Discord audio is just not coming out onto my PC. I think, do you, are you recording it through Discord? Because I think you have to go through there. No, no, I'm doing it through OBS. But yeah. normally I have the audio coming out to OBS, but it's not this time. That's what I've done. I've managed to get it to work, but I can't remember that. Yeah, uh, I don't want to really mess around too much now, but I'll at least record the video. It's, uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I, I didn't mention it, but I, I'm not riding. I've kind of bugged my leg today, but I'll be here for the chat. <laughs> Mine should be on the on the screen. If you have a look on there, and see if it's got the uh, Discord on as well for us. Uh, yeah, give me a sec. You're streaming on the Facebook page, or? No, on the uh, Discord. You know, it normally comes up there. It should be on Twitch and YouTube. There we go. Have a look for Ed. I'm on my. Uh, uh, I got the safety bar. Safety yeah, it cost three and a half million drops. <laughs> yeah, and that means he still has four million. <laughs> I think I still got about twelve million. I was going to say, I think I've got about fifteen million. I haven't spent any ever. <laughs> I want to see you using that safety bike on Mad Monday, Ed. <laughs> Just for the extra challenge. Yeah, yeah. I think you get XP points for that, but we can't use those anymore. Yeah. I wish you could be able to delete bikes out of your garage, but you don't want them anymore. I've got loads of different bikes, but I never use them. Well, you really yeah, got something like a couple of different, different ones. I've got a mountain bike, gravel bike. Time trial bike, the road bike, that's all you need, isn't it? You only need four bikes. Yeah, there's, there's too many options nowadays. Ferrari, yeah, uh, it's too complicated to work out the best bike for each each course. Yeah, a few different sets of wheels, and uh, that's all you need, really, isn't it? Just top yeah. down. So, Ed, I hope you're doing all right with the leading. It's not too difficult, is it? <laughs> uh, no, so, so far so good. It does have a prompt on screen about the fence. Yeah, but you can just but, ignore that. Yeah. Okay. Set it at one second. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I, I use it occasionally if it's uh, like a sprint section and people split up the front a little bit just to try and get the group back together again. But... <laughs> 95% of the time, it's off. Okay. No, if everybody just do their own thing. If, uh, uh, if you see me no. flying up up front, Ed, just give me a message, because I'm watching you, so I'm trying to work out where I am. Okay. Seems like so far, we're just kind of cruising along. Get some chat when you go. Well, at least you're not at least not required to sit there and start doing chatter about Richmond. Okay. <laughs> well, this should be an easy course to stick together. It's pretty much yeah. pancake flat all the way around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you'd say that, but when people do the sprint bits, it's... Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. I, I usually let people sprint, but I mean, this is this is your lead, your ride today. Hey. Yeah, I I think it's... I defer to uh, to whatever you guys think is best for the group cohesion. Uh, it's usually kind of fun just to let just people... Try and bring them back to the group there once the sprint's over, you know, and then to sprint to get in the next lap, that sort of thing. Yeah, oh, I'll, we're, we're, I'll just like go for the sprint to just come back to the group after. Well, Nick, would you would you put that prompt up? Uh, I can check. Do, do, you, do you see me typing? Uh, I can...
What did happen to your leg, Nick? Uh, hold on. Now I've got loud voice coming. So, so uh, Andy Robinson, your Discord is definitely working. I just suddenly got blasted with my own voice coming out. <laughs> Um, no, I've, I've got my first ever um, cross race next weekend. I was out in the forest practicing um, dismounting, and uh, on one of the attempts, I, I jumped off. I went to jump off, but my left foot didn't unclick. Oh, I'm smashing into the ground at like 15 plus k an hour on a gravel track. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. And I hope somebody got that on video so we can post it to the greatest TFC hit. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the picture, Nick, on Strava. It looks nasty. Are you, you going to be uh, all right for tomorrow? I'm hoping so. I've, I've been drinking some whiskey since I came uh, here. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that is the TFC, TFC recommended. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Drink, drink, drink half and then pull the other half on your leg. You know? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. You see, I'm, I'm on the Lefroy 18, right? Oh, uh, right. Get the teachers out. Get the teachers out. <laughs> What's that? Is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, yeah. I don't think they make it anymore either, so it's uh, unfortunate. <laughs> it's one of my favorite whiskeys. <laughs> I've got to be very careful with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nick, is this a cross race or a gravel race, or is it a combination? Cross, cross, cross. But I live next to some forests um, with some really nice tracks. So I was just out today, sort of just practicing, just blasting around. And, uh, yeah, uh, decided to, to test out what happens when your foot doesn't unclip. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what was the name of that? What was that name of the G uh, GCN presenter? He's now a. He now does the race to the broadcast. He was Nick Corey, not clipping in or clipping out. Thanks, Nick Corey. I'm trying to remember the um, guy's name. Oh, the Shy, who's one of the main guys, but he's not, no, he's not doing the um, race commentary. Um, oh, God, I can't believe I forgot the other guy's name. But <laughs> Ralph, Mark, Ralph, Ralph. Nick, I feel your pain when I first got clip in. I'll take a little ride to the post office and I got there thought and realized I wasn't unclipped so I had a, a slow a slow motion tumble <laughs> everyone, yeah. everyone does it once everyone yeah. does it once. You, guys, you guys are probably too young to remember Rowan and Martin's laugh-in but that oh, no, I remember. that was Artie Johnson on the tricycle Okay. <laughs> he would just roll up, he'd start rolling up and the next thing you know he'd just fall over like I do whenever I get up to a stop sign. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it always happens at the, uh, the traffic lights and at the stop signs, yeah, boom. So clipped in, fall over. Yeah, at least this I was meaning to sort of, you know, I was practicing the good old CX sort of dismount and run. It just, the, it, somehow just didn't come out as easily as the hundred other times I've practiced it. <laughs> you, uh, it's like people playing certain sports. You tried to run before you could really, you know, before you caught it. Yeah, well, it, yeah, well, it's been kind of working. I was just practicing just like getting it as smooth as possible, but obviously that time it <laughs> was not smooth at all. <laughs> We didn't have a big sprint section that time around, did we? Uh, yeah. Hey, Ed, Eric here. How, how you doing? Hey, bud. How's it going? Hey. Good. Hi, guys. Hey, I see you. Hey. Look at that unmistakable, that unmistakable turquoise lid. Well, no, I'm not in. Uh, I'm uh, finishing a workout because, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to join you guys in for eyes to see if they finish the workout. Okay. Well, somebody else has got on your lid. Uh, that's probably Andy Robinson, right? Yeah, that's the Andy Robinson, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot he wears that as well. Yeah, we're, I think we're both trying to show off that we, uh, that we just learned to catch each other last year. That's exactly right. Although I can't speak for Andy. Maybe it's just me. No, 
I agree, Eric. Exactly the same reason I've got it. Happy, happy one thousand, buddy. I think we got a really nice turnout. Yeah, so we need to do some some chat in in game as well because I think there's quite a lot of people there who aren't, who aren't on uh, the Discord. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anybody sees my typing because I'm, I'm sat in the pen still. So. No, I, I saw know. it. You're no, you're only the, uh, only the uh, upper group will. Okay. Oh, okay. I saw you guys just chat, chat, Matt. So, Ed, when was your first ride? Uh, March of 2020. Wow. Uh, 1,000 1, events in <laughs> in basically a year and a half. I've been on well, about four years. Well, like a, a year and seven months to be, but who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was riding a lot from 2017 December, and I know we're close. <laughs> well, see, I, was, yeah. I was marathon training. When COVID happened, so I was accustomed to high volume cardio workouts, and so it almost just took that same time commitment and got hooked on to lift. Yeah, I'm just impressed how you race twice a day. I really struggle. You know, Ed's idea of a recovery day is just doing one race. <laughs> 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 yeah, and that, and that's usually uh, you know they, up the uh, radio tower, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the kids, yeah. The kids I'm not a huge fan when that road turns up. <laughs> I'll do it if I have to, but I don't seek it out. <laughs> yeah, somebody just goes, "Hey, there's a race up a big hill, or it's just a race." Ed. Do you want to join in? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, I don't know if Mike Price is on Discord, but Mike will always do these meetups. Yeah, just come on, it'll be great. Next thing you know, we're going straight up. <laughs> <laughs> did, the, did the four horsemen then another ride? Oh, no. oh God. Well, he needed, <laughs> some, he needed some sort of badge. <laughs> of course, okay. being, a good, being a good teammate. Uh, I left about one quarter way in. How's the pace, Nick? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, people okay. are it together pretty well. Yeah, it feels good. Ed, I think you've got it about, about the right pace. Okay. Yeah, I'm at about, about 2.5, 2.6, I am. So, is that right? Okay. It's a little hotter than I planned, but... Now, tell us when you're going to pass the other group so that we can latch on. So did the sub two group start before us today? They should have started after. Yeah, we started uh, uh, a minute or two back. I think this is the most people we've had on Discord in like forever, like yeah. chatting. <laughs> I, think <laughs> right on. I think the last time we did something like this was for one of those Jersey ride things we did. Yeah. You did a charity thing, remember? Yeah. I know there's like people just like coming in and out just throughout the day or something, wasn't it? So. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Well, the old man really appreciates you guys doing this for me. I'll tell you. That's a great achievement, though. Well done. Yeah, I mean, this, this is. This is, uh, that is a lot of, uh, that's a lot of time logging in as well. <laughs> See, I've done a lot of swifting, but somehow I, I don't think I've just got the event counts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I remember my, my very first race, of course, I didn't know what I was doing. And I somehow ended up in a Cathay race on a mountain bike. <laughs> <laughs> And I had the power outside, like when I used to drink. I could maybe, I probably had the power numbers to be in a solid D race. 
but I need to really understand, you know, the mechanics of the of the platform back then. <clears throat> you should <certainly> learn. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember that the, the, the first TT I did, and I think Alistair had just come through that team a couple weeks ahead of me. Yeah. They were saying, boy, that Alistair guy's a machine. <laughs> I hadn't ridden with him yet. I didn't even know who he was. And shortly thereafter, I found out they were right. <laughs> Well, was this in my what bike miscalibrated days? <laughs> those, those were amazing days. Hey, so, here's the question. Did anybody, was anybody uh, affected by that swift glitch with the sticky, it wasn't sticky watch, it was sticky speed? No. I was worried about it, but it was a non factor. And our yeah, team was you know what, I should have done that for, for this ride side. I should have just uh, pedaled out the pens and then gone into the pairing screen. <laughs> well, I think, I think <laughs> they could have just within 24 hours, because I, I tried it the following day on a group ride, and uh, it wasn't working anymore, so, uh, so they they uh, just that out of me. Nah, that would have worked off. It was a worry for the TTT, but in the end, it's a problem. It's probably a bit self policing that when everybody told not to do it, otherwise, it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Swift, Swift has an algorithm to see, you know, constant speed. Yeah, it'd be pretty obvious because, I mean, the uh, cadence would go to zero, your heart rate would drop, and you'd still be doing the same speed. So. Yeah. Not, not just, just, because I, just because I'm a tremendous athlete that I can hold 300 watts for two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Look, I know some of you probably can do that. I can't. <laughs> well, I guess. No, I remember what I did. Uh, Alistair? Yes, mate. Did, uh, did you see my reference to you? I, I, I picked up new vocabulary from from all you guys, but in particular the good man top. Yeah, good man top. Good man. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all new to me. Yeah. <laughs> right. So the other one is, you know, some days you're the hammer, some days you're the nail. We all know what yeah. that feels like. <laughs> sometimes you're a windshield, sometimes you're the bug. Is that another one? Well, that's a good one. <laughs> Well, I know I'm always the bug when racing ZRL. <laughs> yeah, I always enjoy the scratch races. You know, I think I'm doing so well when we do the time trial. And then, even in our league, well, wow, there's a whole lot of people in front of me. I think about Tuesday, for, for a bit late on Tuesday night, the week before. So if you're in Wales, the expression is tidy dark. <laughs> <laughs> huh. If you're doing well, tidy dark. Right. Ed, you, you might want to probably remind people again, this is a, a special ride tonight that you're leading in the chat in the game. Um, you lost me. No, to say that any late joiners. Uh, oh, okay. Join okay. Um, okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. you know, blow your own trumpet a bit, yeah. <laughs> there, are, there are quite a few guys that we race in uh, Mad Monday that are here. Yeah, I see, teams. I see Darren Bramwell, he's a, he's a regular name, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a few regulars out there. He's, uh, that's cool, a load of people out. So 
some of the guys I ride with on dirt are here. Say again? I whoever's speaking then, you sound uh, so like you're under six feet of water. <laughs> Lorenz is just yeah. doing an underwater bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Hey, Eric, can you hear me now, buddy? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Yeah. A stupid Discord noise suppression. I was just saying you're a much loved guy, Ed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I reciprocate. Uh, uh, does the sub two group have the same color, or are they, are they in yellow? No, uh, they are. The, the, the yellow dots, are they in blue dots? Hi, I can see some well, we're gonna, We won't catch them, will we? Oh, so they're like, we will. We probably will catch them. But they're prepared, they're ready. <laughs> okay. It was a big discussion in the group leaders chat about how to manage this best. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, it, it's, uh, it's with the front on the mountain bike. Is that Trevor? Yeah, someone's on the mountain bike. I know it's that. Sure, make sure we don't drop heads. He's coming off the back of it. <laughs> he's about 10 meters I'm in front of the... I'm trying uh, to type. Yeah. I'm trying to multitask by typing and writing. That never works well for me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I use that as an excuse to race it. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Edward, stretching all your capabilities here. You got a tie, you got a lead. Yeah, Ed, you, you got to smoke a cigar as well, right now. <laughs> hey, it won't be long. It won't be long. I guarantee you. Hey, Kenny, you want, uh, you want Discord? I can see you on screen. Hey, Holly, huh? Yeah, I'm there. Alright. Oh, right. Yeah, Jervis and Oakland, we're doing well. Full breakfast ride again, is it, or...? What time is it in Oakland? It's half past eight in the morning, oh, yeah, a bit of a lion. Ah, uh, right, oh, thank you. Yeah, it is a proper holiday too. Oh, you got a holiday today, did you? Yeah. What's my holiday? It's Sunday, you know, bloody you're ahead of us, okay. So what, what's yeah. your holiday? What's your holiday today? Uh, Labor Day, it's called. Cool. Would you have your Labor Day now rather than today? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. It's weird. A bit ironic calling it Labor Day when you have a day of rest. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> uh, <laughs> play the Imperial Conference. Are you an orphan then, Ken? Yeah, yeah. In orphan, still locked down. We'll probably oh, lock down Christmas. Oh god. Yeah. Our friends down in Christchurch and stuff, so yeah. Yeah. Hello. I think we've had more cases of COVID in my street than they have in, uh, in uh, New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's so friggin' frustrating, you know? <laughs> the thing is, in New Zealand, they're probably just trying to stop it spreading out more machines. That's the worst thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Carl, nine seconds. Okay, thanks, guys.
<laughs> Start to pick up a few of the uh, yellow dots, I think, now. Okay. Yeah, Tommy knows I did a triple PTT a couple weeks back. Boy, that's that crazy. wiped me out. That wiped me out for about a week. Triple TT. Triple TT. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the uh, platinum uh, league was Z Sun, then ours, and then dirt in the evening. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah, Alan always had me doing the. He used to have me doing the UK and then the USA one. Yeah, yeah Aaron does a double routine, right? The double is great. Right. Yeah. I did the double. I love the double. The double's the best. Makes you feel like you can eat, eat whatever the hell you want all day long. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that it's just hard. Or Typhoon Espresso in the evening. I uh, was just like, never, never again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you can do like double espresso. Uh, that's just. <laughs> yeah. Just do the peanut butter. Well, I'll tell you, I've, I've been married a real long time and yet. It builds up a lot of stress, and it's a great way to um, combat the accumulated toll of stress. Oh, you always told me that you had a special power. It's like you always thought you had a power. I think Ed got it right. Ed definitely got it right on that one. So there are a lot worse vices out there. As vices go, indoor cycling is not so bad. <laughs> Yeah, life isn't so bad when you've done two time trials and they're both alone and two left. <laughs> yeah, I guess at least with the indoor cycling, your your wife knows where you are, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she doesn't believe that there's a pool of sweat to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> It's just when she hears the moaning from the garage. He was about to ring the doorbell and check up on me because he thought I was dying. <laughs> I was in the sprint at the end of a race and was just like Charles Barkley a couple weeks back, and I, so now I know how she feels being a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Apparently not the world champion, but a celebrity nonetheless. And you're a champion in our legend. <laughs> wow, I need some info after that. How are we looking, Nick? Looking great. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, I mean, the main, the main group looks good. I mean, there's a few guys off the front. There's like a... 
and some flies up ahead, but... Thank you. Yeah, is it an Yeah, I I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying, I'm, not, I'm just sitting in the How did I know? How did I know? I'm just keeping an eye out for you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking good in the front with me and Andrew up there with turquoise head gear. Okay. Is that right out? You got the aero helmet out there, have you? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, I've got the cap, I'm, I'm in the cap. <laughs> Next year. We're getting going for the sprint again here. We can't get Cubans here. No, no. I mean, the Cubans. You no, know, Ed, you can do Ed, you can just run through the Vancouver. We got a lot of Cubans to guys up here. Oh, no kidding. Oh, yeah. 
Canada, 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 Canada never had the embargo. Oh. Exactly. That's it. When I, lived in De- when I lived in Detroit, I used to go across into Windsor to bring them back to give away as gifts. Okay. I've only had them when I was traveling, or if someone travels and brings them back to me, but we've had an embargo forever. Yeah, although I mean, yeah, we do get some nice cigars from like Dominican Republic and things like that as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think some of the Cuban factor is just the mystique, kind of the forbidden fruit syndrome. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably true. Like Coors beer used to be on the East Coast in the 60s and 70s and 80s in my part of the country. It was such a big deal to go out west and get Coors. And I think my face had matured. I was was I was I was born out in Wyoming, and we used to have a saying about Coors: it was like making love in a canoe. It's fucking near water. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Sorry about that, Nick. <laughs> I still sort of remember once, actually, being out in California, and I was around with a friend who was like, Hey, do you want a beer? I was like, Sure. And he like, threw me like a Coors Light. I was like, Oh, no, sorry, I thought you had to. Yeah, if I wanted to water, I'd get one. Well, <laughs> so, Nick, yeah. as a connoisseur of the frog, that's a big. Uh, difference to go to Coors Light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's this guy who lived out in, uh, out in Munich as well before, so he knew what a real deal was. <laughs> okay. Was well, now, what, is, what is the take? <laughs> what is the take across the pond on Guinness and Bass? Black and tan. Is that considered good quality or is that uh, yeah. Bottom of the barrel. The Guinness is a good beer. Okay. For sure, that's the that's the, the Irish stuff there. And what about bass? Pale ale. I don't see it so much. Um, too much of a gibbet about it. We have okay. to go Guinness. Well, you can't really offer about six foot, but. <laughs> No, but Guinness, Guinness is a good one. Well, I, I've never been to Dublin, and I'm told that Guinness in Dublin actually tastes different than the Guinness you get around the world. Oh, much different. Much, it's, much different. Yeah. yeah. It's much more expensive in the world. Oh, that's that's a good. good. I've been trying to price sometimes. Yeah, I've been trying to. Of course, I'm doing this all this from memory. <laughs> Hey Ed, Eric here. Uh, I'm signing off. Uh, my wife needs a nap, so I gotta go take care of the little one. So, uh, okay. congratulations and, and many more, and we'll see you out there this week. All right, hey, thanks so much. Thanks for thanks for joining in, Eric. I really appreciate it. My pleasure, buddy. I wouldn't miss it, even if it was uh, not the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Ed, hey, Ed, Ed, somebody, you... somebody asked you something on the chat. I want to know after a thousand races what your favorite course is. Oh, I responded, but I can repost it. Okay, well, don't no, no worry. I'm just blind. Well, well okay. just tell us. Ed, just tell us what it is. Uh, Greater London Flat. We, we, oh, saw, okay. we saw you post it, right? Oh, you saw it, Tommy? Yeah, we saw it. You, you responded and said you knew it would be a flat one. That's right. <laughs> That's a good choice. What time is your favorite? Uh, I just, I seem to, it's kind of like, well, some courses just fit your eye. And there's something about that course that just sets up well for me for whatever reasons. So we'll talk, we'll talk to you a lot for me, I like that one. 
Oh yeah, that one, it's got, it's got just enough bump to make you have to work a little. Yeah, it's just steaming that back. I like the one with the leg snapper in it. It's great. Oh man. I'm do four or five laps of that on a race. It's a killer. Yeah. What I like to do on that race for Mad Monday is uh, do four laps of that and have the, uh, the sprint points there as well. So you've got to smash the, the leg snapper and then straight in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because the snapper is not fine. You don't get anything for doing that well. It's like a clean and effort, isn't it? Well, some interesting choices of uh, favourite courses out there by everybody. Yeah. I noticed John's on the Sully Hill, but he wasn't done. I think John only went about 55 kilos. That would be my favourite if I were 55 kilos as well. Yeah, which John? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, John Meal, sorry, I've just seen yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> the Watopia 8 course, if you want to have a little hill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised you did pick down time. <laughs> it's, it's always a 50 50 chance, really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this will be the. I finally broke even for inside and outside distance. Uh, I definitely do more miles inside. Well, I did, in, I did in during COVID for sure. But this year I did enough uh, metric centuries outside to at least catch up. I just said to me, it's all good now. I'll do it then, it's all good. It's the traffic is horrendous near where I am. Yes. Well, where I moved to is beautiful, and I can go 200 kilometers without seeing a stoplight. Oh, nice. Not in a straight line, mind you. <laughs> but we all like to be on our trip to Lancer up here, too. Yeah, we'll be all right with that. I wonder what to do. Too okay. many cars. <laughs> I'll fall off my bike up. I'll come on a stick and stand so. Yeah. To be fair, Neil, we got a good time. We went to, uh, we went to Denny last year. I'll give you more. Outside, oh, I'm not sure he's uh, clean. And about three or four times, first 20 kilometers, he fell off at the top of the line. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you a trike for the first ride. What's that, Dean? We'll get you a trike for the first ride, three wheeler. Yeah, we'll do it on that. Well, one of our teammates. You know, he's been blasting away indoors and he took a really bad header going downhill in the Rockies. But now he's right back up there and it's, yeah, he, he, said he, he said his personal best speed record was downhill yesterday. That happened. That's after how he broke his neck two months ago. <laughs> He must be an ex rugby player. I don't know. You know, it's really neat. I don't do a lot of group rides, and you know the scenery that you don't always see in a race when you're just kind of cruising along. 
Yeah. It's closest. Oh, are you, are you trying to say that we should have picked somewhere other than French? <laughs> no! No, I'm noticing things here I've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you not have a chance to do any group rides <laughs> If you want to see the scenery on the trip, just if you can use the uh, like the drone view. It's quite okay. Yeah, that's okay. Right. If you really have it. Yeah. Exactly. Is it? Oh, Alright, okay, good. Yeah, so we can't even go on any of Great for keeping an eye on your team because you can just around and use the uh, left and right and spin around. Yeah, that's all right. So many guys together. Yeah, it's good. And, and, and for the K A guys, some of you haven't heard about it, but on Thursdays we do this event called the TTT, <laughs> and you should start signing up for it. Well, okay, I'll give you my stroke pop. We have two events: Monday and Friday. North American people, try to get on. Them. Okay. I mean, uh, we go to all the uh, trouble of setting up the same type of categories on Monday, and we have like five people from CFC total. Well, could you maybe do like an E pin and have everyone start together? Because it's, it's no fun, like, if you end up as a solo just racing yourself. Yeah. Uh, would, would that be a possibility? Well, I mean, this is. You know, we split things up like there is a funny thing, you know, with the European I mean, time zone, we split everything up, and that's kind of what people had asked for. That's all we were trying to do. And then, right. of course, and, and the US does one, that apply to the US? It, 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 well, does, it does really. apply. I mean, there's not enough riders. Well, that's what I meant. I mean, the, the need does the need apply in the US? It worked well, at the start, but recently, the last couple of seasons, it's not. Um, so we need to rethink it and relook at it again. Okay. Well, things are starting well, to up as it comes into sort of like the winter season, but it doesn't look like it has been. Well, Nick, the one thing that I, I mean, I'm going to get some of us over here on this side to do is that we didn't really get the word out to the teams over here. Yeah. Okay, yeah because, you know, like this is a, it's, a, stuff, it's, a, it's a team event. Yeah, you know, with individual riders, and so individuals keep asking me, "Can they race?" And I said, "Yeah, but you know, I have to give them the I have to give them the weight manually." Yeah, yeah, no, that's. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's been a bit of a discussion me and Dave to try and figure out what's what's best really in the uh, for the U.S. time zone because you know we have plenty of, see, we have plenty of riders in the European time zone. It works well. But the U.S. are just not getting the, the side ups. Uh, well, I've already, I already said something to Alan, or maybe it was to you, that I think with my schedule, I'll just start doing the European races. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I mean, one option is even just like getting rid of the, the invite links, and just having it public for the U.S. one. Um, but then we also, you know, things we also get people like asking for like the updated tables and everything like that. We just don't have the teams there. Yeah. There's no, there's no point in doing that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to figure it out. It's, uh, it's, it's not an easy one to do. We're trying to trying to create fairer races. But if you just don't have people turning up. Well, like I say, I'm, no I'm, I'm preaching. I'm preaching to the choir here. It's just that. When I talk to the people in the North American, you know, most of the people on the time trials that I ride with, I'm like, okay, 
pick either Monday or Friday. Too. Yeah, yeah. So as one of those North American people, I'll chime in. I personally just I focus on the ZRL and the team time trial and yeah. getting another race in a week, especially when it's a day before or after one of those, it's really hard for me. Yeah. yeah. That's also so nice. Oh, it's devastating to me, believe me, I know. I can only race twice a week. I can't do anything about that. I'm going to you saying this. I think the ZRL is a major factor because uh, yeah. people are not going to race Monday so much. Yeah, we're probably confusing Ed with this whole too much race thing. Ed, I'm going to say two or three a day or? <laughs> I've been known to. But I've started doing a bit of running. And so I'm going to try and shift the balance a bit to uh, wrap up my running and start a marathon training block later this year. Yeah, well, we've got the, uh, the drop on the team, haven't we? The, uh, the drop. Yeah, that starts in next month. Oh, yeah, so that's the end. If you have like. Uh yeah, you know, well, the treadmills and stuff like that, and the Swift running. And TMC have a, um, a running team as well, Swift. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, they do a duathlon. Yeah, there's a um, team, um, Eddie, Neil, and uh, Ryan Keller. Yeah. Okay, well, I, did, I participated in a duathlon season one. I didn't have a treadmill at the time. Yeah. So I was running outside. Yeah, yeah. It was very, very, very cold, <laughs> and so that was tough. And then I tried season two, but the scoring, the scoring seemed to be kind of screwed up, so I lost interest. Do we have a, is there a Discord channel to talk about that, or what do you guys discuss? Uh, we just tend to use the you know, Yeah, okay. We, 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 not with the running one, we tend to race at 11 o'clock in the morning here in the UK, so, uh, we're running in suits, for the good suits in America. Oh, okay. We have to do it with the time slots, I think. Yeah, because I think they change the time slots a little bit. I think that, I don't think, I think they just made a bit of a mistake. But I think the 11 o'clock AM is still, is still available. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can see the, uh, Channel. Yeah. 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 Sure is. So, hi guys, it's uh, Mark Westbrook here. Hi Mark. Hi Mark, yeah, it's Dean here. Dean. Okay, yeah, hey Dean, hey Dean. You alright? I can see you riding, Mark. I'm not used to this club before, guys, so uh, go easy on me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to Tuesday, Mark? Yeah, 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 it looks like that. I think it's going to be extremely hard, but good fun. <coughs> Very hard. Yeah, yeah, you're going through them now.
taking the hour to catch. That was a really bad point to catch them, like just at the sprint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was like the worst possible point on the course. I've seen that before, there's loads of races when you catch them when you finish. There's a few stragglers where they've got some for me and they do. Everybody watch the uh, indoor side of the traps today. Uh, I watched a bit of heat there. Well, it's nearly on the end. Yeah. And, and yeah, that was amazing. And the Dutch, Dutch guy did the kilometre. Wow. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? It's just, a, just an absolute beast. I think the... Uh, I think the thunder rail is as big as my wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It looked like a 75 tooth ring or whatever. Yeah. It was massive. I'll have to give that a watch later, actually, to have a chance today. Well, I was watching the National Championships in Lincoln last weekend and Hater was just cruising. It was amazing. It was. Yeah, it was. Just really. made it look so easy. Yeah, when you left, well, he didn't let, but. Um, Oh yeah, yeah. But we were on Michael Gate, and each time, you know, the two Ineos guys just looked a different league. They were just like, yeah, we're just going to win this. It was amazing. He, he, he even, he even sort of, so that he'd get a decent finish himself. He even pulled a couple of other lads back towards the end as well, didn't he? Well. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. Well, we should see if we can sign him up. <laughs> yeah. Java Lava, Ethan Hater, yes please. And a Cuban cigar. That's it. And do you know, you know Gary Bretton from uh, Deluxe Cuba Treats? Yeah. Uh, Ethan Hater and those guys go out training uh, at his place. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've noticed there's a lot, there's a lot there, isn't there? There's hills and flat, there's everything. Yeah, and no cars on. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. Actually, brilliant out there. Yeah, he was out the other day, wasn't he? I saw him, he was out the other day, wasn't he? Look all that there. I like he enjoyed himself. Yeah, Gary's always posting pictures of the guys up, you know, on his Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I think, well, I'm sorry, he's going through him in the office and he's having a belt in the office. Good that book for his business as well, there could be a pretty few going out there as well. It's good uh, advertising for his uh, training oh, yeah, uh, facility, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the bridge between there. Uh, I've been out there about four times, I think. Brilliant, it's lovely. Oh, yeah. Have you been out recently? Yeah. Well, no, well, no, no, no. Uh, about three years ago, probably, it was the last time. Well, you're going to watch that head get dropped, yeah? <laughs> 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 Too much time. Too much time, I think. That safety bike. <laughs> He's also trying to type, too. Yeah, too much safety bike. Right at the same time. I can't fly tomorrow at the same time. I don't know how you guys do it. I know I'm nowhere near you because I keep watching it. I've got the I feel like I'm going over the top. You don't have the time. I'm not going to be nowhere near you. Well done again, Ed, for the leading. Well done, hope you enjoyed it.
Yeah, yeah, it was a great job. Thank you. No, thanks. Thank you, guys. I really, really appreciate it more than you know. I think I'll be doing it every Sunday now. <laughs> yeah, but let's not do the 2000s like in February, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be next to a thousand? Hey, thanks again, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know. I'll get this video. Well, anybody on Sub Two, right. we're still here. Yeah, we got about two minutes left on Sub Two. Okay, great. I'm not sure if I'm with you guys. I don't see any other kit right now, but I never know when you change out of the group, get back into whatever you started on. Uh, so it's most of the TFC guys who have remained in yellow, uh, other riders will switch back to their defaults. Okay, okay. Well guys, thank you so much for for putting this together for me. Go to make the old man feel good. Yeah, yeah it's a good. It's a heck of an achievement you should definitely, I mean, it's definitely something to be proud of. Thank you. Yeah, well done, Ed. Congratulations. Yeah, well done. Hey, thank you. I was here. Good, good banter as well. Sorry, I don't speak British, so I can't say well done. Good show, man. <laughs> awesome. Hey, I'm learning. I'm, I'm in the uh, 100 level course. <laughs> <laughs> I take it with you tomorrow. I used, to, Monday, I used to do a lot of work at Kodak Tarot, so I would come back from that to my friends in New York and go, What language are you speaking? Yeah, I can't some people. I don't know. I don't know. Right, guys. Enjoy it. Uh, right, okay, thank you so much. I've done the recording, Ed, so uh, I'll, I'll get it posted for you. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll upload mine as well for you, Ed. Is, is there a way that I'll be able to uh, save that? Or, uh, like, can I download it somehow? Yeah, I'm sure I can get it to you. It's got all the Discord chat on it as well, so I'm sure I can do that for you. Okay. I'll try and That'd be great. I'll, I'll put mine up in like a Google Drive or something for you to download. Yeah. Okay. That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much to both of you guys for doing that for me. That'll be a great memory that I can replay over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> they're like my, they're like my auto crash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 